Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning here in uh, Austin, Texas. This is day 785 of the three plus minutes of Plank Challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Thoughts on my mind today. I was having a good conversation, I was having a conversation with a good friend yesterday. Um, she asked me a question about my mom. You see, um, I've talked a lot about my dad and how he has been pretty influential in the man that I am today. And a lot of it has been the idea of getting over past slights and forgiving things that had happened in my past. And so that's been very relevant for me. Um, but apparently I haven't talked as much about my mom. And I, and I have, but I definitely don't talk as much. Um, I grew up mostly with my mom. And um, for a lot of that time, my mom was a single parent. Um, what I will say is she's a, she's a major reason why I'm a Christian man today. Uh, she's amazing. She's a major reason why I'm as driven and as hardworking as I am um, from watching her example. But I can tell you that also my mom hasn't been perfect as no man or woman on this earth is. And uh, there have been times that I've had issues with my mom. Um, one of them being her leaving my father at one point because of some things that my father had did in his past. And um, and doing that, taking me away from my father. Now, the truth of the matter is I understand why it happened. And, um, and I wish things had happened differently, but I, I do realize that everything happens the way it happens for a reason. And I take into account the fact that we all make, we all do things determined on things that are happening around us. Um, this conversation then led to parents and kids and how sometimes as much as we try to defer from our parents, we are really reflections of them. There are things about their character, things about their things that they've done in life that we mimic at times, even when we try not to. And I think that instead of running away from those things, we should embrace them, learn from them, and be better. And I think that's how you break generational curses. So as I watch people around me and see that we run away from our problems where we could just confront them and be better, I say this to say, take the time to look at yourself authentically. Take the time to look at your family authentically and people around you. And when you do those things, you give yourself the best chances to be the best version of yourself. <laughs> and that all started from one simple conversation. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for me today. As always, be blessed today and every day. Talk to you soon. Peace.